a whole me invited by Google. Me, divine, the experience, being invited by Google to come and speak on a panel. Hmm. This is the bad. Some days are like good filming days, and other days you just have to like drag yourself. And today is one of those drag yourself kind of days. Just gonna be living that life. Gonna be living it right. Gonna be catching a fly, slice, slice, and a shot on the ice. Straight acting a lemon lime. Look. What is this brightness? Listen, my lights are not even on. And like, what is this exposure? Guys, I have no idea why my camera has been doing this thing where it just gets overly exposed. Like, I'm so light skinned. I promise you, I'm not this light skinned in real life. It's just so bright. What's going on? Like, I look like a shiny light. And I know I'm a shiny light. Like, I know I'm a shiny light, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not a ghost. Okay, guys, I've been struggling with my camera for like good 20 minutes and i'm too late for my event to be doing that i actually do not even have the luxury of time but i just don't like how this thing is filming oh i'm not gonna let that spoil my day okay um anyways guys i have exciting 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 news um i got an invite from google to speak at a panel about gen z Gen Z culture and Gen Z behaviors and all of that. I'm gonna be on the panel with Eni, Eronini, and ooh, I should probably should find out the third name of the influencer. Um, I was sent a brief, okay? So we're gonna be like the panel guests and we're going to be speaking about like our platforms and just like what it's like to be a Gen Z in this day and age. And I just feel like super honored to be speaking at, super honored to even be, you know, on the same table with these amazing amazing influencers i mean if you are um the fourth influencer is abby tyre so i'm gonna be on the panel with abby tyre eniolua um eronimi the fact that i'm going to be one of the speakers at this panel is just mind-blowing to me because see my platform is not even half as big as theirs so the fact that i keep getting this type of opportunities like a whole me invited by google me divine the experience being invited by google to come and speak on a panel hmm Listen, I don't know what God is up to, okay? But he just keeps surprising me every single day and I'm here for it, okay? I'm really here for it. It's just like every time I I want to beat myself up about how my platform is not growing as fast as I think it should be growing and how I don't have all the numbers I think that I deserve, God just reminds me that, honey, 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 I know these numbers are important to you, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. What matters is the impact that the content you have gives the value that you bring this is just me giving small motivational talk okay i don't know why i just feel i just feel led to speak on it because i can speak out of my own experience okay because sometimes i'm not even gonna lie i feel like guys i've been on youtube now for what like four years and i've been grinding and i see youtubers who just start youtube like a year and they have thousands of followers i see people who just come into instagram and they have 100k followers and i'm here struggling with like my 7k you know and i'm putting in all this work and efforts i have sleepless nights you know i work like four five Five days on one video and the video doesn't even get up to a thousand likes you know i go through all this trouble and i get so consumed by the numbers and the demographic of it all forgetting that even the, the small people that i think in my head that is small are hugely impacted by my content because i get um, emails i get comments every day people say oh device don't stop creating content i love this about your content i love this i love that it's so easy for us to just kind of forget about that and just want to focus on the fact that oh my numbers are not as big as they should i don't deserve to be here you know imposter syndrome want to creep in and all of that do you know that one elon Musk is better than 200 um i don't even know i don't want to look down on anybody but 200 other people that are just watching your content for fun or just to make fun of you or something like no matter how small your impact is that's what i'm just trying to say here no matter how small your impact is do not give up okay keep pouring into your craft it will take you time it will take you effort some days you feel like you don't even deserve to be where you are but you just keep going okay i'm just like that's just a good way for me to just remember that you know we are moving forward okay we're moving forward whether that is not in the way that i expect forward to look like okay i'm trying to discard my knowledge of what i think forward should be what i think growth should look like okay and i'm defining growth 
I'm not even the one defining God is defining what growth is for me. God is saying, I'm going to place opportunities in front of you. I'm going to put these things in front of you. And it's not about what you're seeing, okay? So I'm thinking about, oh, I'm making this box for myself. I need 10K followers. I need 100K followers. And God is like, you're thinking too small. I'm going to put you to speak on these platforms. I'm going to, I'm going to give you this exposure. I'm going to... I'm going to give you access to people that you would ordinarily have access to. It's like, you know, God is just doing his thing and I'm here for it, okay? I'm here for it, okay? I didn't want to talk this like a whole preaching session. I don't even know if what I'm saying made any sense, okay? But I woke up this morning and imposter syndrome wanted to creep in. I'm like, Divine, you don't deserve to be here. You don't deserve to be speaking on this platform. You don't deserve this recognition and this award and all these things that you have. And another person came, which is I'm probably thinking it's God, okay? He came and said, my sister, my daughter, I called you to do this thing and my promises are true okay so get up put on your makeup get your hair done okay look bougie look classy get dressed and go and inspire people people are waiting out there to hear you speak so make sure you have sense <laughs> which I'm giving you and go and speak to those people that I've put you to talk to okay so I'm just really really excited um, my thoughts are really all over the place right now because number one I'm in a hurry and then number two I'm in a hurry, okay, but I wanted to just give you guys like a brief intro of what's going on today. It's currently 4.40, so I'm targeting to leave here by 3. Um, Google office is not is not that far. It's like going to be like a 20 30 minutes ride from here, so I'm going to be able to... Um, so I'm going to get there in time. I ordered this, and I'm going to be wearing this green one today. So I don't know if I want to just like, just do the clock clip thing for my hair or actually like add extensions i don't know what i'm gonna do but you guys are gonna see i want to just quickly go get dressed now because i'm on a time crunch i'm really late so let me go get dressed and also we have another event this same evening okay so guys your girl is gonna divide herself but i'm having another event this evening i was invited by meta i'm thinking i might go to the event right after my google event or i will come back home and change and go to the event so i can get two pictures Boys and girls, I'm ready. This is what I'm wearing. I decided to put the clock clip instead. I hope you guys can see it. If you can't, I'm sorry. Let me get my shoes. I'm wearing this um, Zara shoes. I'm not gonna wear it now because I'm driving and I can't drive with shoes on. So I'm just gonna go down with so slides and I'll wear when I get to event. But yeah, I'm wearing this um, Zara heels. I think they look really cute. And I'm going with this baggy bag. This is a little, it's a very cute bag. Guys, I can never pronounce this perfume, but it's one of the best perfumes that I have. I really love how it smells. It smells really expensive. Alright guys, let's go, let's go. I'll see you guys when we get to the event. You girl gotta run now, so bye guys. I just need one second to see if I look good. Do I look good? Do I look good? Yes, I do look good. Mm. In love, I just I just pulled up, so I'm wearing my shoe. I'm in the parking lot. This is why I don't like fixing my nails because now to wear shoe is like I'm solving mathematics. Please, I'm late. Cooperate with me, okay? Tell me why you're crying, I can't eat big deal yeah. When you got me so I don't get my dope in the But you know that Thank you for coming Hi everyone, my name is Divine Ume. I'm a YouTuber and a podcaster. I'm also an entrepreneur. I have two successful businesses of my own and I guess you can call me a lifestyle influencer as well. Fantastic, thank you. I want to get a, what's the word, Did you get a glimpse into your a day in the life. Can you open your phone and share with us the last photo in your camera, on your camera roll? It's my mom's picture. Oh. <laughs> Is she doing anything specific in it or? Um, she actually gave me to edit, so I'm like the editor in my family. I'm like the tech girl, so if you want to fix your WhatsApp, you want to edit your picture, you want to fix the STV, anything, my mom would just give it to me. So she sent her picture all the way from abroad for me to edit and send it back to her, so yeah. Love that. Yeah. What's a person like you? Well, mine is a screenshot of a bank receipt because I don't want to hear stories that you didn't get. <laughs> so that's mine. It's a selfie of me. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I also have a question. You know, I heard this this Gen Z like the phrase or the 
the term Gen Z I hear so much. So, so it's like really, what's the word? I don't want to use big news, like pro, pro, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very popular. And I guess being someone who is within that age range, do you kind of roll your eyes when you hear people like, oh God, they're here with this Gen Z thing again? Actually, what do you I, feel like? I actually love it because I'm sorry, guys, but I feel like Gen Z are better. <laughs> yeah, chill. Calm We're down, better man. than. Uh, okay, let me explain. So, I feel millennials had it hard growing up, like with the country, with work, with life, with their parents, with their emotions, with making money. But Gen Z, we were given. I mean, we were born into a lot of opportunities, and we took advantage of it. You need to let that one sink in. <laughs> Uh, are you embracing the Gen Z, either the ethos or the, I don't know, the, the, the vibe? I think I'm embracing it because whether we like it or not, like Gen Z is the future. It's yeah. very hard to be a content creator in Nigeria because you know how many times they've asked me at work what I do for a living. And I'm like, I'm an influencer and they're like, oh, runs. Oh, wow. For women. For men. Oh, yahoo. So being a content creator in a place in like Nigeria is hard, you understand? Because I don't, they don't fully understand what it is to be in this generation of technology. Um, also to what she said, it's very difficult for influencers in terms of working with like foreign brands exactly. to have their stuff shipped to you. I've yeah. had brands reach out to me to work with me and by the time they find out that I'm in Nigeria and they have to ship their merchandise or whatever to me, it's like customs, all that. And before you know it, I don't get it anymore. So like working with international brands as a Nigerian is also like a struggle as well. So when you're not creating, well, I like podcasts like Timmy Sounds. I don't know if you guys know Timmy Sounds, but you guys should definitely listen to him. So he says some really educating things. So I just go there for knowledge, basically. I'll say YouTube because I'm a YouTuber, but I, I'm also a very visual learner. So if I want to learn something or watch something, whenever I'm bored, if I'm watching dishes, I'm watching a vlog. If I'm sweeping my house, I'm listening to something. So I'm always consuming like lifestyle vloggers and probably just learning a skill on it. Any specific ones that you would recommend? I recommend the experience, not because that's my channel. Um, I think like for most people, like for me, I'll speak for myself, influencing kind of just happened um, like two years ago, three years ago. We didn't really have a niche for influencers, just like, okay, what do you do? Or, you know, you find something to call it. And it's not up until like three years ago that we started calling it influencing or being an influencer. So I usually just like to make videos and post my life experiences online. So I was doing YouTube since, you know, I left uni and I'll just post my stories if I travel, what I'm up to, places and stuff. So I was just a YouTuber making videos, okay? And it wasn't up until some years later and they were like, oh, if people actually come to you for your opinion or your recommendation, then you are an influencer. So people ask you, oh, you went to this restaurant, what's the name of this place? Um, influencing them by making them make that decision to go to that restaurant. So it kind of just happened to me, to be honest. So I'd say an influencer is someone whose decisions actually affect like, the decisions of others. But not even defining, so for you as an influencer, what is your own end goal? What is it that you want to? Um, so you want, okay. to, you want to help people to guide to make their life choices. Is that what? Yes. So I basically want to inspire people by the life that I live. Like if I can do it, then you can do it. Kind of mindset. So I just take people along my journey and my struggles. Like for my podcast, for example, I sit down with twenty-year-olds and I talk about the struggles of navigating life in your twenties. So with that podcast, I want to help people in their twenties because there's no manual. We just woke up one day, we're twenty-something. We have bills to pay. You know, things are happening to us. Nobody's guide us, and it's like. I want to be able to influence that, to be able to teach people, to learn from my experience. You don't have to make mistakes that I've already made, and I think we can make the world better just that way. So, yeah. But you knew that already. When I found you on the ground, you were dying. Now you're coming to my heart uninvited. Can you see me on the edge? I'm enlightened. If the world was ending, would you cry or would you try and get me? Tell me now, I want you to be clear. Tell me now, I need you to be clear. I will win. Guys, lighting is terrible. I'm usually, I'm literally lighting up myself on my phone, but I just got back home and I made a quick outfit change and we're off to the next event, okay? I'm trying to get like a picture or a video. I'm wearing the same shoes I wore in the afternoon and I'm, I just did like a back switch. Yeah, that's it. 
and just minimal jewelry situation necklace i have these rings and just gold accessories and yes guys i'm wearing the same makeup so it's a bit higgy haga but we'll manage it mm -hmm. You know I love you, but I'm always in this together. You put me in the mood. You want to Who is ready for Tenny? back home now i want to go take off my makeup have dinner and get to work okay i have a presentation that is literally due tomorrow at 12 p.m okay like i literally need to send it at 12 p.m tomorrow so i need to actually just like take off my makeup shower have dinner maybe rest for like one hour and then just get straight into work i'm gonna pull an all-nighter because i already promised the client that i was gonna like get the work ready before 12 so i kind of have to keep to my word so yes guys this is what a typical influencer day in my life is like okay i have to do the influencing things and also have to do like my personal businesses you guys know that i run a digital marketing agency and i essentially help brands to run their social media pages build website landing pages um ads promotions just basically everything across the full spectrum full spectrum of digital marketing is what i do on you know daily basis so i have to send that presentation to a brand that i am working with i'm working for actually so yes guys enough of the enjoyment i don't even think it's enjoyment because guys influencing is actually a lot of work just like having to show up at this event interact post content it's a lot of work and i'm tired but i still have to you know fulfill my other commitment as an entrepreneur so i still got i'm still gonna have to do that but I just wanted to check in here to say, guys, this is me in real time. Your girl is exhausted. I really love this claw clips thing I had going on today. I can't even believe I put off two huge events today, okay? Like, my tired is tired, and I'm still going to pull an all-night out today. Hmm. Hmm. You guys should give this video a huge thumbs up just because of the suffering I'm going through, okay? Put the video, give the video a huge thumbs up because I'm going through a lot, you know? But, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. I love my life. I love my jobs. And I'm so privileged and I'm so happy. And I don't take any of this for granted. And, yeah, that is it, guys. Let me go. Before, the next time I'm going to grab my camera will probably be when I've sent out the presentation I'm supposed to send out. Because, yeah, I cannot afford to be wasting any more time. And tomorrow, I do have a cheeky girls night out with some of my friends. 
um i don't know if i'll be vlogging because it's like really um just me and some of my girlfriends to be honest but i might vlog i'm not sure um hopefully if i'm done with my presentation then i can go out but if i'm not done with my presentation i'm not going out and i'm not going to vlog so you guys just pray for me that I actually you know stay up tonight and finish that presentation but yes guys thank you so much for hanging with me today guys i'm getting so lazy to turn on my led light every day i just say oh let me turn on my phone light and somehow it works and i think that is why i just keep using it okay i took off my curtains by the way sent them to the dry cleaners so i currently don't have curtains but i just got dressed it means that i was able to finish my presentation yesterday you know i was crying yesterday that i'm not sure that i'll finish my presentation in time that if i do i'll not be able to go out clearly you guys have seen me all dressed up that means i was able to finish my presentation i'm so happy it took me quite a bit of time though i thought i'll finish before 12 but i ended up sending it like by two ish which was not that late but I'm so happy that I was able to finish it. I was so happy with the presentation. And I'm just waiting for feedback now from my clients. And I know that they're gonna love it. I'm just crossing my fingers because I put my energy and sweat into that presentation. But yes, guys, I'm currently dressed now. This is what I'm wearing. This is the fit. These are the shoes I'm wearing. This is actually supposed to be a drink. I just broke the handle of the cup. But I'm still drinking. It's like Bailey's in it. But yes guys these are the shoes and the bag so this is what i'm wearing i'm not wearing my shoes yet because i think i'm gonna drive so you guys already know the you know the mou <laughs> i'm using this scent this has been my scent all week i think i've been loving the vibes to add like a touch of this um this is like jojo yeah i want to just put like just a just like so we are ready we are set let's go um i'll be vlogging on my phone guys my room looks so naked without the the curtains <laughs> But yeah, I'll be vlogging with my phone. I'm ready to go. Since oh six, I've been writing my story. Yeah, I know be OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know they blow trees, or in your give me low I music chose me, just know this and no peace. I did low key, but I'm never lonely. Yeah, sexy ladies, call I for me slowly. Now the love my they see when they give me ginger. I be get to be seen I Jehovah. Oh no. Now the love my they see when they give me ginger. Hey babies, what's up, what's up? Good morning. I literally this angle is the very weird. But I just woke up guys yesterday listen we had a time last night we had a time last night <laughs> you know what I just keep asking myself Divinus where do you get this energy from like where do you keep getting this energy from because this cannot be real okay if I tell you about the week I've had listen I don't know how I managed to have the energy to even still be going out <laughs> in the weekends but here I am okay going out that is my my curtains are still not back yet i should probably call them because it should be back today but yes guys it is saturday uh i'm just going to usually yeah on saturday i would try to edit you know do a little bit of editing do a little bit of planning for next week you know just doing tidying up a few things but this particular saturday i'm not gonna do anything mm -mm. i'm not going to do anything i'm tired I'm exhausted and I'm not even going to lie to myself like let's not lie to ourselves your girl is tired so I'm just gonna stay in watch Netflix if I'm already watching Netflix I'm watching Glimmer Girls um, um, I don't know how I feel about it I feel like so the thing yeah let me pause this thing because it's a bit loud yeah so the thing with me right is 
finding something to watch on Netflix is very tiring and very indecisive. It takes me forever. So I like to just have that one go-to show that when I can't be bothered to invest time into finding something to watch, I just play it in the background and maybe press my phone or do something. So Glimmer Girls is that for me. Like it's just a feel good series that can just be playing in the background. I don't need to pay so much attention to it. I just need to hear what they're saying and then, you know, pressing my phone, eating my Pringles, <laughs> you know, and just doing whatever makes me happy, to be honest. And then there are days or nights when I'm like, okay, I need to find something exciting and intriguing to watch. And today is just not that day. I, I don't want to use any brain cell today. Do you understand? Like I want to rest. Like I really, literally want to rest. So I don't even want to, I don't want to use one thought. I don't want to think. I don't want to stress. I don't want to process anything. I don't want to be intrigued. I just want to be. I just want day my day like whiskey. I just want day. <laughs> so yeah, that that's it, right? So I'll watch some Glimmer Girls and just relax. I just want to go and make a proper breakfast like a normal 20-year-old. I'm here snacking on Pringles like a teenager. But who is going to beat me? Nobody. Two years since I met you. One year dating now, I'm ready for forever. Everybody gotta know you, darling. You don't know, say me, I'm in the plan to marry you. Oh. No, be only that to me, the plan be the two wife you. Oh. Should not you have been there, or be down with the love I know? Man, jiggy, tear play. I can't let you go, baby, no way. Baby, my katapa, and if no be you, my nama wetapa, they laughing at me, my hama wetapa. I go right. What I actually fail to talk about is the resources that actually goes into learning that new skill. I want to talk about resources. This thing, I'm talking about money, baby. Okay? On your bodona, there's no no more. On your bodona, kapokwagi wuja. So I just finished filming content for a brand hence why i have like my whole light set up oh so bright this is like my quick setup some days are like good filming days and other days you just have to like drag yourself and today is one of those drag yourself kind of days because when i tell you i've been going through it since i woke up okay first of all it's that time of the month so i'm already like very cranky as hell like i'm super cranky my stomach is failing me i'm having cramps i just want to lie down but at the same time I also need to turn in this work to the brand because like the deadline for the content is already like fast approaching and like in fact if I don't film it today I don't know when else I'll be free to film it because honestly like from now till December like I have almost every day booked for something so it's just difficult these days so I had to push myself okay now on top of that I'm trying to film I can't remember what I'm supposed to be saying I'm stumbling on my words I'm forgetting look at my script here like because I usually like write um, script of what I'm trying to say and everything you know I'll, like make notes of what I'm trying to say you know the notes were not noting I was forgetting my lines you know I was trying to be perfect and yeah, I'll make a mistake I'll start again like a five minutes video guys I I'm sure I filmed it up to like 30 minutes and I'm not even still confident in what I filmed but I'm sure when I'm editing it I'll just like put in the finishing touches but I just wanted to just document that some days are just uh, and today's one of those days oh yeah that's true I need to unbox um, the package I got from Google the day I went to Google I realized I'd never unbox it for you guys let me just use opportunity and like um, unbox it for you guys this is the bag that we were giving at google and the first thing in the bag is this ring light which i haven't unboxed yet i guess it's like a dex ring light i'll just put it on like my dressing table which is fantastic the next thing which we're giving is a speaker this is a speaker oh that's nice because i see they know that my speaker just went bad like my speaker my um jbl speaker it just stopped charging so i've not been able to like figure out what's happening with it so i guess this is coming very handy this is the speaker my camera battery is also low so hopefully this doesn't go off if it does it will be <laughs> um and then there's this this is like a mug i think but well, my nails do not allow me to be great Oh, it's red cute I just really like red okay if I wasn't like such an aesthetic queen 
red would be like my go-to color it just brightens up my mood oh this is for like my coffee oh this is so cute yes guys this is where we're ending the vlog okay some days in the life of an influencer okay but this particular day is not day in at all i think i just need to go and eat so let me just go and eat and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye and I don't make posters. You have no artistic capability. Oh, I don't oh, shout out to oh, dances. Does he know that you got pregnant at 16? Oh, Basically. Oh, oh. Tell me why you're crying, I can't eat big deal. 